Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T Game and Tech. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Sign and Jamaud 10.1. And so I recently had Sign and Jamaud 10.0 and like 10.1 beta on my Galaxy S3, and it just wasn't working at all. I mean, it's just, I think, I know my issue was that I updated through the Sign and Jamaud updater, which I don't know why they include it if it doesn't work right. Um, I kept putting updates over updates, and the phone was just not performing well. I had terrible battery life. And the screen often wouldn't respond. If I press the home button, the screen wouldn't turn on. Um, it would randomly lock up. I'd have to take the back off and take the battery out. Um, just a lot of bad things kept happening. Um, yeah, the it just wasn't very stable at all. I'm looking at a list of things that I have had wrote down. Uh, it was really laggy. Apps would take forever to load if they would load at all. It would take me like 20 seconds to op open up text messaging. And now it's basically instant. And so what I did... Uh, honestly, I was thinking about just saying, you know what, I'm done. I'm done with modding or ROMing, whatever you want to call it. I'm going back to Stock Factory, Android, whatever it was on here with TouchWiz. I'm getting tired of it. And it was actually kind of hard to find the factory ROM or factory stock ROM, whatever you want to call it, for the Galaxy S3. It was a pain to look for it. And I'm like, this is even harder than putting a Cyanja mod on it. So I was like, okay, let's try the latest nightly build of Cyanja mod with a clean install. And so what I did was I installed or I downloaded Cyanogen Mod 10.1, the nightly build. I'll put a link in the one that I downloaded in the description below and a link to Cyanogen Mod's download page. And I downloaded it, put it on uh, the phone, did a clean wipe of like the software and everything um, of it. Uh, entered Clockwork Mod and through there you can do a clean wipe of everything, completely everything gone. Besides um, things that you have stored on there such as like folders and files. Um, if you've done ROMing and before and, you know, with Clockwork, you know how it goes. But um, I completely did a clean install of CyanogenMod 10.1. And I have to say, I'm extremely happy with it. It's 10 times better than what it was before. Um, we don't have any lag issues. Um, everything is nice and quick. Everything opens up quick. Uh, we have some nice new features. We have um, the quick settings that are featured in Android 4.2. Point two, I think that's what it is. Yeah, we're on Jelly Bean 4.2.2. Um, quick, quick settings work very well. There are not multiple different accounts that you can use on the Galaxy S3 yet on the CyanogenMod Mod uh, 10.1. Like on the Nexus 7, I can have separate user accounts. I can't do that on here, at least not that I've found out. But you can have the different lock screen um, screens and widgets on your lock screen. So that's cool. You can go straight to your camera from the lock screen. Um, the new camera also works very well. Uh, the Android 4.2.2 camera. Um, I have a bunch of things to write down here. I'm stable. It's quick. The apps just work. Uh, the quick settings, like I said, battery life is actually much better. Before, I'd be ending the day on like 5% battery or else it'd die. Um, and that's around like 1130 midnight. Um, but now I'm ending the day with around 40%. And so the battery life is a lot better. And it's definitely um, thanks to the clean install and the updated version. And so battery life was a lot better. And this just kind of reinforces my idea that stock, just pure Android, is just the way to go. A Galaxy S4 just got announced in Samsung's event, and they had a lot of bloaty S software, Samsung software, that Google already has through Android that you can just use. I don't know why Samsung does this, but I, I get it. But this it just doesn't make sense from my point of view. But to others, it might make sense. They use the S software. It works fine. That's good for them. But it just feels like Samsung is doing a lot of unneeded work. But this just reinforces to me that I enjoy the pure Google experience. I'd rather have pure Jelly Bean over a phone with better hardware. For example, I'd probably get the Nexus 4 before I'd get the Galaxy S4 just because I want pure Android and don't have to worry about installing mods and ROMs and all this other crazy stuff that you shouldn't have to do. Um, I think my next phone, my next daily driver, whenever I get one, might be a Nexus phone because I just want pure Android unless uh, some other phone comes out that's really good that has a pure Android experience uh, because I just think that's the way to go because that and that's just what I enjoy most. And so um, even though it's a nightly build, it's still very stable. Uh, I've only had one time where it's actually locked up on me and I had to take off the battery. And that was when um, I got a phone call and I, I don't know if I let it like the phone like load completely or something as soon as like I was holding my phone looking at something and I'm getting ready to turn it on and it, it, the screen came on I got a phone call and I tried to swipe as soon as it came on um, and it locked up and it was just very it just behaved very weirdly and I couldn't do anything I had to take the battery out that was the only time 
You know, that's a lot better than the other times, though. I've had to do it multiple times whenever I was running the previous version of Cyanogen Mod. And so it is very stable. So like I said, I will put links in the description for this uh, nightly build. And so, um, yeah, don't. I would suggest don't use the Cyanogen Mod updater and installer that's built in the actual ROM. Do it yourself. Do a clean install. Yeah, I lost all my apps, um, but I downloaded you know the ones that I wanted back. I'm not a big game person on my phone anyways. And so games really weren't really weren't a big deal for me. And so if you're asking, can I install this on my Galaxy S3? Is it going to be problematic? Is it going to work? I can say from my experience that it's going to work fine. Um, I'm using the nightly build. No issues whatsoever besides the one that I mentioned where it locked up. I had to take the battery out um, once. I haven't had to do anything since then. Um, it's been very stable. Everything performs like it's supposed to. Um, doesn't lag. It's very quick. And I would definitely suggest it if you're looking to update your phone to a newer version of CyanogenMod. So that's going to wrap up this video covering Cyanogen Mod 10.1, the nightly build. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Also subscribe for more tech and game related videos, unboxings, reviews, and other kinds of awesome videos. And YouTube tips that I do occasionally every now and then. And so thank you guys so much for watching. Check out all the social links that are all in the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.